Welcome back! We got two new photos from Izo's camera, so let's uh, see if there's anything important in them. Let's see... Um, one picture of me, and the other is... Uh, somewhere around there, I guess. Hawker circle. Let's see. Well, there's me. Would be an awful coincidence if there was anything important in this picture, but who knows? Hmm. Nice face uh, was I pulling, by the way. Hey, look, a hey, bunny. Isn't there supposed to be... Huh. You... I think... In my practice game there was a guy in the background here. But... Not this time. Helpful. Well, there's people in the background, but not, <laughs> not the one I'm looking uh, for. Let's see... If any of these other people's... Uh, are more interesting. No. Also no, it seems. And more nothing. How about you? Your hand is sort of conspicuous. And I think he was in the picture in the last game, and I don't think he has anything. No. I don't remember her. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, she looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. She does look familiar. We haven't actually seen her yet uh, in the game, but I know who it is. <laughs> we'll find out. Why does McCoy think uh, she looks familiar, though? No? But he said that about the, the suspect from the case as well. That's kind of interesting. But I'm sure she was not in this picture when I was practicing this game, so apparently this picture is something that can differ. The thing that was there was a guy with a strange skill, which I think is a reference to the movie, but otherwise unimportant. China Bar. The China Bar. Oh, that's the bar where the, we couldn't really talk to the bartender. Let's see... There's two folks... Oh, hey! He gets around? That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard that's copy That's what I said. Interesting. Who's he talking to? Is that the same woman as in the other picture? I don't know. Hmm. It might be nice if we could get a clearer shot or something of this. And it just so happens that up here there is a security camera. Interesting. Give me a hard copy of that. So it might pay off to pay another visit to the China Bar and see if we can get a disc for that camera. Maybe we can get a pic better picture of this guy. Or whoever else was here. So let's go and do that. Well, let's Uploading personal synchronize our clues. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Let's uh, upload our clues to the cloud. Is what they would have said if this game was made today, I suppose. <laughs> oh. 
Alright, let's head back to Animoid Row. We'll uh, deal with DNA Row later. Because I want to see if we can get something from the China Bar. Interesting that you can see that woman in the, the photograph of McCoy. I honestly did not know that that was a possibility. You got any discs from that camera? I just served drinks, pal. But if you're gonna sit there until I cough it up, well, here it is. He's so helpful. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Would be fun if McCoy got drunk every time he did that, but... Or more drunk every time he did that, but that... The game isn't, isn't quite that uh, sophisticated. <laughs> Uh, it's too early for there to be any info on the insects or the uh, the jewelry. Well, let's see if that disc uh, holds anything of interest. And after we've done that, we can go to DNA Row. Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. It's nice that they call this enhanceable photographs, but why could it look around corners on regular photographs too? China bar. It's a China bar. How oh, is our old pal around here somewhere? Or not. Let's look at some of the people that are in this photograph. This is just some dude wearing headphones or earmuffs. Not really sure. Who's this? Uh, that guy looks kind of familiar. Guza? Give me a hard copy of that. What's Guza doing there? Who's he talking to? Can we see that? Yes, we know Guza's there. Guza? I thought you could look at the guy he was talking to, but... Apparently not, but... Maybe there's someone else in this picture. Nothing of interest with that. I really thought you could also look at the other guy. Come on! Uh, that's gonna be Guza again, right? Guza? Don't act so surprised every single time, McCoy. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it kinda looks like Izo. And I thought you could actually get McCoy to say that, but I'm not being very successful at it. Unless it's someone else. I already looked at him, didn't I? Yeah. 
Oh well, um, if I figure it out, we'll come back to it. Oh wait, ah! No, oh, there's Ezo. <laughs> he looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Yeah, because it's Ezo with his damn camera. If this is the time that the picture was taken, then Clovis should be. Um, oh, oops. The 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 suspect. <laughs> Yes, I know his name too. Um, is supposedly at the bar too, but we can't see him. But where did Guza's here? And Izo as well. And then there's that weapons requisition or form or something on Guza's desk and Izo dealing in police weapons. I smell something fishy going on here. Uploading personal clue database. Let's be nice. <laughs> Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. All right, we've got the all the stuff we found in the pictures. Guza, Izo, Izo's friend. Or whatever, the, that's one of our suspects, anyway. And this strange woman in Adamoid Row. Let's hope I don't slip up and say her name, too. Um, which will spoil the surprise. As if it means anything to you if you ha don't know this uh, game. And the game already <laughs> slipped up and gave us Sadiq's name, so anyway. Um, actually. I'm going to check one more time if Goose is in his office. Yes! Maybe we can go to Tyrell after all. The goons over at the Tyrell building wouldn't let me talk to their boss. Maybe you can set up a meeting. Anyone else in that whole company who knows anything? <laughs> you and I both know it's a one-man show over there. No, give it a try, kid. I'll have to pull some strings, so don't go in there half-assed. Make sure you got some legit questions for the resident genius. Appreciate it, Lieutenant. Great! So we get to see Tyrell after all. I was really afraid we wouldn't get to. Can the department float me some Chin Yen? This investigation's getting expensive. Look, this ain't on the department tab, okay? This is a personal loan. Thanks, Lieutenant. This goddamn city don't know how to manage funds. They've been flush for years. I thought we were under budget. Trust me, ain't nobody getting rich unless they're sneaking some on the side. Hell, I can barely pay for the fuel for my car. Ever hear of public transportation? Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. It's not your desk, it's Bryant's desk. I don't think he would appreciate it if you threw it at people. Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You'd be amazed at how accommodating a man can be after his hemorrhoids get lanced. You've really been surprising the troops around here, kid. Gaff says you work that retirement like a champ. Just doing the job. Yeah, well, don't get too cocky. Those sixes can be damn unpredictable. That I know. But I'm proud of you, McCoy. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Thanks. Payments is wiring the advance to your account as we speak. How much? Couple hundred chinion. Enough to buy a sandwich or two. We gotta hold back the rest until the lab does the autopsy. Paperwork, you know. Should take more than a couple of days. So, the check's in the mail? Hey, don't worry. The boys upstairs want to keep our best and brightest happy. Any idea what you want to spend it on? I was thinking... maybe a companion for my animal at home. Forget that. Buy yourself something. Something nice. Once you start carving up that juicy bacon, kid, the taste never goes away. The great things in life, believe me, you'll just be wanting more and more. Hmm. Well, we'll continue in the next video.